Houston, Titans of CNC, and I'm here with Stuart. Hey, what's up? What's uh, up? You guys know Stuart. So check this out. Uh, I am excited because we're going to show you a glimpse of another aerospace project that we're doing, all right? So last week, I was over at the Makino and I was talking about us actually having three tutorials going on in the shop right now, which are for our Aerospace Academy that's going to be dropping in late February 2020. So not only am I getting ready to machine the titanium part on the Makino with Jeff, but we got Stuart over here and we're treating this just like a real job shop because over the last 10 years, we've actually made a huge amount of rocket parts for the top companies. So I wanted today to actually just speak a little bit to that. One of the cool things is Stuart has been a machinist for us for how long? Eight years. Eight years. And whenever we machine those parts, I would come out, we'd go over the strategy, we'd go over the material, we'd go over the tooling, we'd project manage everything, and then you would actually go ahead and start making the parts, getting them into inspection, and we'd just go through the process all the way to completion, putting it into outside processing, bringing it in, inspecting it again, and then shipping it. Yeah. Right? we go through the whole entire thing, together as a team as a team so that's what we're gonna do here and that is the difference in the aerospace academy we're gonna take a part for instance what we're working on here oh look at that metric and English prints all right so basically we're gonna go over the part you're gonna instantly understand that we're in a different world now. Because we're going off of datums, we've introduced true positioning. We're, we're talking about how to calculate true positioning. We're going over the inspection and we're going over the entire process and strategic planning needed in creating parts like this to print. Not only creating parts like this to print, but duplicating the setup easy and efficiently the second time. So Stuart, what do you got over here? So over here, I have our fixture plate. This is a perfect material for fixture plate. This is Mike 6. So he's gonna create a fixture with pens and we're gonna show you how to actually lock down a part that is very difficult to hold. We're gonna show you the techniques and the tricks to actually machine that part to keep it perfectly intolerant. The fixture is gonna have these pins on the bottom and you're gonna be able to duplicate the setup simply by taking the fixture and putting it into the shunk barrel S. So we're gonna put the fixture in, we're gonna take the fixture out, we're gonna show you all the different pins, expansion pins, everything that you need to actually machine this part perfectly. And then we're gonna actually machine the part perfectly, inspect the part perfectly, even take it to the anodized house and show you how they anodize it. How much anodize actually goes into the material? Everything has to be accounted for. So we're gonna go from concept and print to strategic planning, to ordering material, ordering tooling, ordering fixtures, place, designing everything, operation one, operation two, operation three, boom, 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 how to repeat the process anodizing inspection throughout and shipping the part it's now in chapters and it's going to be amazing and Stuart my man is going to be the driver on the DMG Mori making it happen and beyond that guess what not only are we making the titanium part on the Makino and the ISO grid here Tyson on the NLX 2500 is doing a crazy titanium tutorial using two chucks and live tooling to actually make this awesome part complete in one operation. So it's basically going to cut the first op, it's going to do the live tooling, the other truck's going to come up, grab it, boom, it's going to do the other side, you're going to take it out, it's high level stuff and we're teaching you guys for free. Boom! boom. We are out.